Developing tonight, Evanston police are searching for an attacker who tried to sexually assault a woman. It happened on Ridge near Emerson in Evanston outside of Northwestern University's campus. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross has more on the crime and who police are looking for. Jeremy. Good afternoon, Erica. Police are saying the victim's screams helped her get away from her attacker, and she's doing okay at this hour. Northwestern University sending out a series of email alerts alerting students to what happened, and they identify the apartment complex in the area behind us as where this all took place. In the meantime, police continue to look for who's responsible. You know, when you're in an incident like that, it's very terrifying. Tuesday night, police say a man attempted to sexually assault a 24-year-old Northwestern student. Ten cop cars, all with their lights on. Jeremy Midvitti saw the aftermath. He lives in the complex off Ridge near Emerson. There, police say the victim was battered in an elevator, thrown to the floor with her attacker running off with a phone and her wallet. Detectives are currently out there canvassing for witnesses and also for any video evidence. Commander Joe Dugan says the victim did not know her attacker, adding this kind of crime in Evanston is seen only about a half dozen times per year. Not very many at all. But Dugan says the attacker was simple in his approach, claiming he knocked on a door and the victim let him in. Like if someone's waiting outside the door, we just like, I don't know, assume like the he or she is like a guest for someone. Like common courtesy. Yeah, so we just let them in. And unless you like absolutely positively know that the person lives there, you know, you should, as rude or unneighborly as it might be, you should uh, not open up the door. Make you think twice about who you might let in, even in common courtesy? Yeah, I, I mean, I usually don't let anyone in. So police emphasizing security over courtesy this evening. Now, we read, read to reach out to the apartment complex right behind us for comment on this story. They did not return our phone call. Of course, if you have any additional information on this crime, you're asked to call local police. Live in Evanston, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Jeremy, thank you.